my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to film yourself and how I basically plan and shoot all my YouTube videos by myself, so you can do that too. All right. I'm wearing these uh, boots because, whoop, rubber boots, because I'm a little afraid there might be some snakes in the tall grass, but you just have to like stomp your feet uh, and be a little bit careful. But um, that's why I have a little bit of a funky outfit on. Whew, okay, there are like probably a million little bugs here, uh, <laughs> but I'm not gonna let that hinder me. When I started my YouTube channel back in January 2019, there were two huge things I struggled with. And the first one was just how to figure out how to film myself because I wanted to do all my videos by myself because uh, like it's really awkward if somebody's even in the same room even now if I do a video and somebody's just close by or being out in the street and talking to the camera because that is still a little bit awkward and weird and that was the second thing that I struggled with a lot in the beginning to just get over myself and this feeling of being very self-indulgent and who do I think I am but uh, the thing that has helped most with getting over that awkwardness is just practice and think of the camera as a friend and thinking of who you're speaking to and uh, yeah just kind of have to get over yourself but when it comes to shooting yourself and filming yourself the thing you will need the most is definitely a tripod so no matter what you're shooting with, having a tripod so that you will always place your camera uh, somewhere in an angle um, that it's just going to be life changing. Or if you're doing this with your phone, um, just getting a selfie stick. Um, the camera I use to shoot all my videos is the same camera I use for my photos. So it's the Sony Alpha 7 R3 camera. And then I also use my iPhone XR for when I want to, for example, show my camera <laughs> in my videos. All right, next. When choosing a camera, it is really, really important to have a camera that has autofocus. I tried the first time when I was gonna do uh, a YouTube channel back in 2018, actually. I had a camera that didn't have autofocus and I was almost losing my mind with it, trying to make it sharp uh, where I was gonna be uh, manually and then trying to do my videos at the same time I was, was going through some major self critical crisis uh, digging myself in a grave with that it was just uh, super frustrating so definitely get a camera with autofocus and uh, thirdly get also a camera with built-in Wi-Fi if you can or if you get a camera with a flip-up screen so that you have some way of seeing how it's gonna look when you're in the frame so I use Sony camera so the app is called Imagining Edge Mobile which is basically an app which allows me to connect to my camera and then I can see it as a field monitor just on my phone what the camera is seeing so um, you can get also this for Nikon or Canon you just need built-in Wi-Fi that is really important or then if you get another type of camera that has like a flip-up screen so you can just see what is going on that uh, you're gonna thank me for this later <laughs> it just helps so so much also, when you're out shooting, try to think of having different angles in your shots. That way you'll just keep people's attention a little bit more because not only will they have the thing that you're talking about, but also visually there's going to be something interesting to look at. And when it comes to figuring out your backgrounds or locations, um, one tip is to, if you're taking it indoors, first of all, try to be close to a window so you make sure that you have enough light so it's not completely dark. Um, and then secondly, if you're taking it up against a wall, try to not be like all the way up uh, towards the wall, but try to have some distance, like one or two meters, just from your background to create some, again, depth. It just looks a little bit more pro and you're not so like squished up and it doesn't feel like everything is just very confronting in the frame. So what this means in practice is that you will spend a lot of time just running around placing your camera and tripod in different angles and also sometimes having to sort of fake it a little bit meaning that if you just have one camera and you want many different angles which is so so nice to have then when you're editing things together so you can cut between two different materials or many materials <laughs> One thing I do is when I shoot my video I try to think of having like the main parts so sort of the talking points if I do a video with some tips for example and I'll sit down somewhere and I'll 
chatter on as I do <laughs> and then I'll have after that I'll do what I call b-roll so maybe if I'm talking about something and then I have some b-roll where I can show that and visually just demonstrate that also to make the video a bit more interesting than just my face um, in the frame all the time and a huge huge thing also that I would urge you to do is to plan your videos ahead um, so thinking of the title a little bit and what you're going to say um, I know for me it's for some reason difficult to plan. I like to just kind of improvise and I'll just like go with it. Um, but it helps so much to plan and have a bit of a script or just have some pointers that you want to talk about in the video that I found has helped so much. And it just will also decrease the time that you spend trying to get the video right and say the right things. Uh, so definitely do yourself a favor and plan beforehand. All right, a few words about uh, sound. So um, definitely, uh, thinking of sound quality is important in videos and as you can probably hear now the sound became very different when we came indoors instead of being outdoors and when you're indoors you can use blankets and things to just make your surroundings less echoey so it's not so bouncy um, and obviously being outdoors it's much more difficult to have good sound and I just have a, a roadie mic that I mount on top of my camera um, because the little mic that comes with the camera itself it's really not so great I even think that the iPhone uh, microphone is better <laughs> than that one um, but uh, yeah if you're indoors obviously it's gonna be easier to try to get a better sound quality than being outdoors for me because it's so important to have like nice visuals and I think it's fun to jump around in different locations so I will then sacrifice that a little bit and then I'll try to afterwards when I edit this video in Premiere Pro there are some different tools like noise reduction and parametric equalizer those are two tools that I use quite a lot to try to make the sound a little bit better I'm definitely not an expert on this but I just know that having good sound is quite important so maybe think of just getting like an external mic for your videos and if you want to spice it up a little bit you can always shoot via a mirror um, but I wouldn't recommend maybe shooting your whole video just via a mirror because I feel like it does create a little bit of distance between uh, me and you. <laughs> One last thing before I go. So uh, obviously if you want to do more type of vlog content or documenting your day then maybe you're not gonna plan ahead so much uh, as I said earlier and also one thing that I try to think of is to sometimes have some handheld footage so some footage where I'm maybe not in the frame at all <laughs> just to kind of try to spice it up. It's all about I think finding ways to keep visually your audience engaged and not only in the information and they're kind of the dry substance of your video if that makes sense um, so all those things like the more material you have to play around with the more fun it will be and just like the easier to make a good video um, but all this just comes with practice and patience and trying out things and probably your videos will look very different than mine or somebody else's so it's all about finding your own style in the end all right, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found some of these tips useful. And if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I definitely encourage you. It's been one of the best things I did last year. So I have been on Instagram for almost three, three years now uh, doing that or really pursuing that as my thing. And then when I started YouTube, um, first it didn't grow at all in the beginning, but then after about six or eight months, I really had one video that went viral. And then at that time on Instagram, like nothing was happening. I was losing followers actually. And uh, then that video just made my YouTube channel grow, which made my Instagram profile grow. And now it feels like they both sort of uh, combined are really good for what I'm doing and they've just helped me clarify also what I can teach and what I have to offer while I still get to do these creative projects and share that enthusiasm uh, and just like my findings with you. So if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel definitely go for it and if you have any other struggles or questions then let me know in the comments below. I am also planning to do more YouTube tips videos uh, just because now I've been doing this for one and a half years and I have some things that have worked for me maybe some things that didn't work so well for me and in the beginning it was quite overwhelming to set it all up so I just want to share that knowledge and the a little bit more behind the scenes of doing these videos by yourself and if that is something that you're looking to do um, so yeah you can just expect more YouTube video comment no you more YouTube video content videos <laughs> um, and hopefully that will yeah be valuable to you as always if you'd like to see more more <laughs> as always if you'd like to see more of my photos you can come and say hi I'm over at Kutava Kika on Instagram and until next time uh, take care and I will see you soon bye 
Oh, it just started to rain, but there's something about summer rain that I find super calming and everything just smells so nice and fresh, so actually, I don't mind at all. There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello, a bee in my bonnet, hello. There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello, a bee in my bonnet, hello.